Hello, my friends. All right, I want you to think of a dirty word. Get a real good one. And I know some of you out there, and I know you've got some doozies. Well, how many of you thought of the word self-care? Crazy, right? But yet we think of self-care as frivolous or selfish or unnecessary. And the truth is that not only is self-care not selfish, it's a requirement for resilience. And it doesn't have to be built during a spa day. So I wanna give you three things that you can do to build resilience by practicing self-care. And the first is called strategic stopping. I don't know if you've ever looked up and realized that it was noon and you've been busy all day but got nothing on your list of major priorities accomplished. And that is because your inbox and your to-do list should not be the same thing. Yet we get so busy being busy that we don't take time to just stop. Strategic stopping is a way every hour, every few hours, even just a couple of times a day to take a few deep breaths and ask yourself, am I in charge of my day or is my day in charge of me? It doesn't have to take long, but it's very, very powerful. Second, set boundaries. We train people how to treat us. So for example, if you're used to responding to every email within 10 minutes of receiving it, the first time you take an hour to respond, you've already disappointed someone. Whereas if you set the expectation that you return emails at certain times, or you can be trusted to get back to someone within a certain period of time, then you can start creating boundaries so that you're not jumping to somebody else's emergency, but you're focusing on your most important priorities. And finally, self-care, just like anything else, is a skill. Just like learning an instrument, playing piano, learning chess, or speaking a language, self-care is a skill. And it doesn't have to happen in giant chunks of time. Simply taking some time to doodle, be creative, or even just daydream and be still is considered self-care. You know, when you think about building resilience and the fact that it is a muscle, these are skills that are necessary in order to build it. So yes, it could be exercise, it could be sleep, it could be making time for the people in your life that are important to you, but it could just be taking time to stop and take a few deep breaths. So I hope that you'll practice self-care this week. Know that it is not a dirty word, it is not frivolous, and it is certainly necessary for you to get and stay resilient.